You're watching this video probably because you're having some problems falling asleep or staying asleep. You might be lying in bed for half an hour to even hours and tossing, turning, things going on in your mind. Or maybe you have some problems staying asleep once you've fallen asleep to start off with. So today I'm going to tell you a little bit about melatonin and how it works and um, there are different ways to take melatonin. Some might work better for your body than others. I'm Dr. Emily Chan, naturopathic doctor. Melatonin is a very important hormone to help you go to sleep. Melatonin starts off being made in the body from an amino acid called tryptophan. Tryptophan, which you might have heard of um, from Turkey, um, will be transformed in the body into 5-HTP, 5-hydroxytryptophan, and then that gets converted into serotonin, and then serotonin gets converted into melatonin. That's the biochemical pathway for melatonin. Melatonin is this hormone produced by the pineal gland in the brain, and it's responsible for helping you to be able to sleep. Melatonin levels are not necessarily the same throughout the day, and they should not be. Melatonin levels should be higher at night and lower during the daytime. But many times, people in our modern age have our circadian rhythms kind of confused, and so the body doesn't really produce the right amount of these chemicals at the right times of the day. Many people take high doses of melatonin, like three or four milligrams at night before going to bed, but the problem with that is that they sometimes will feel sluggish in the morning and feel groggy. A better way to take melatonin, I find, is to take a smaller dose, like 0.5 milligrams of melatonin, which is closer to a physiological dose that your body makes, and to take that with a timing according to your circadian rhythms. When it becomes darker, that is the signal to your pineal gland in the brain that melatonin should start kicking in. So I often suggest my patients to take a small 0.5 milligram dose of melatonin actually when the sun goes down rather than taking a higher dose right before bed. And oftentimes they feel a lot less groggy when they're waking up. Sometimes it's hard to find a melatonin that's this low in dosage, but there is one by Pure Encapsulations that's 0.5 milligrams, and you can find that on my website to buy. Again, please consult with your doctor before taking any supplements, as some of them might interfere with your medications. By taking melatonin at dusk, you're giving your body the signal to slowly calm down at night and giving it that opportunity to wind down. And oftentimes my patients find that that's really effective for helping them to be able to fall asleep. Now if you're having some issues staying asleep at night versus falling asleep, the issue may not be melatonin. It could be something else, which I'll talk about in my other video about sleep. Thank you for watching and please like this video as a way of saying thank you. I wish you a wonderful night of sleep.